Welcome to Wanted Weapons of Fate. It is March 26th. Uh, this game released on the 24th and was available on the 25th. Uh, here, locally. So, you're about to see a blind playthrough of the first stage. Uh, I have... I did play the demo, so I've seen uh, part of this game before. Uh, well, just the very, you know, the two or three tutorial missions, along with uh, part of a level on the plane. And I'm not, I don't know really where that level falls in the actual game. And I did start this a second ago, but I had a, a small failure, so we're, we'll pick it up from where I left off, which was, uh, well, you'll see. Um, so far, we've, we've established that you... Oh, actually, here we are. I did the what tutorial, so you're not going to see that, but life was a lie. it's not a big deal. It could mess you up pretty good. Make you do things you didn't think you were capable of. I wanted to know why me. Well, what I found out is that the truth sucks. And that it was destiny I would become a killer. Like I say, I haven't seen this, so you'll probably not hear me talking over the cutscenes because... I haven't seen them. That's me. Okay, don't be an asshole. That's my mother. My real mom. And that's me. I never met her. Her name was Elise. I didn't even know who she was until I went through my father's things after his death. Well, after I killed him. Anyway, that's Elise. Mom. And now I can't get her out of my mind. Or out of my dreams. The dream always ends the same way. Usually the bastard impregnating my mother with lead wakes me up. No, not today. Okay, whoever's up there picked the wrong fucking apartment. Okay, this is kind of unexpected. Spam over here. Up there, I guess so, I guess. That was the flashlight. Where are you? Oh, there we go. This game actually looks quite good. Uh, yeah, level design is pretty good. Oh, cutscene. Alright. Three months ago, if I'd been awakened by a couple of cops rummaging through my place, I'd have been pissing myself and trying not to let them see me cry, but, uh, well, a lot can happen in a short period of time. I'd been looking at that picture for days. I thought I knew every detail. Shit, I hate being wrong. Okay. Typical. First week at my dad's apartment and I'm robbed by a couple of French ass hools in SWAT gear. It's <laughs> actually pretty good. The cover, uh, the way you move between pieces of cover is actually quite dynamic. How do I reload? Oh, X. Alright. Okay, get behind cover. Yeah. You know, that's one thing about... Okay. Aiming's a little bit squirrely. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to. It's uh, one one thing about sticky cover games. Nine times out of ten, they put sticky cover game or sticky cover mechanics in their game for a reason. Okay. Here comes the cavalry. And if you don't use it, you are not gonna make it. So we will. Devotedly stick to our cover. 
It's actually a lot of fun moving between cover in this game. Look at that. It's quite cool. Uh, quite cool. Okay. Now you get off the cover. Okay. Hey, it's not bad. Cutscene. Oh. After the first bullet, you really should have you know, realized that that was a riot shield. What the hell? He's Batman. Oh. I hope we get to use those at some point in this game. I mean, yeah, it completely wouldn't actually work in real life, and it's completely, you know, overblown and ridiculous, but damn cool. In fact, actually, that seems to be pretty much the way this game thinks. You know, it, it doesn't matter if it makes any sense. If it would be really cool, then, you know. Alright, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So hit, okay. What the hell did he do? Aren't they cops? Actually, they're probably not cops, because I don't know that cops would be rummaging through my things looking for... Is that a guy? No. Okay, that is though. Where is he? Got him. Sort of reminds me of Max Payne, actually. I mean, you know. Sort of. Wow! Killed him with the last round in the clip. Oh, yeah. So I need to pick up. There we go. Uh, it, it's the atmosphere. I mean, obviously, you know, Max Payne, for one thing, was before cover mechanics, really. Oh, okay. You don't hold left to suppress. Do I have a knife yet? I do have the knife, although I shot him before I got there, so that was kind of ridiculous. Clip. I'm full. Wait. Now I'm... There we go. <laughs> Auto save. Good bullet, that's a lot of guys. Oh, that's a guy I'm after right there. You have an automatic weapon of some kind. You want. It's kind of odd how you shift around pieces of angled cover. Uh, actually, it sort of reminds me of uh, uh, Eat Lead, which I just played not long ago. I may do a video for oh, that also. Shit, these guys just don't give up. Uh, uh, I had a mechanic where if you were on a piece of cover, that's all. You could actually uh, hold uh, to one side and click a button and you would shift around. I could have sworn this guy had an automatic weapon. Maybe he was just tapping that fast. Oh well, I can't find it. Uh, and you would shift around to the other, another side of the cover. Which is actually a really cool idea, but the sad thing is you didn't end up really needing it hardly ever in the game. It was like the enemies either came at you straight from the direction you were facing, or they ended up spawning in right on top of you. Which, yes, that is something that happens a lot in that game. Which, you know, you would think at this point we're kind of over the spawning in of enemies. But it was sort of a gimmick for that game, so I sort of understood it. Very easy to move between pieces of cover in this game. I really like that. Where's he at? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to stop congratulating myself every time I shoot a guy or you're going to get really sick of hearing me doing that. <laughs> 